we are working on sentence a sentence writing a sentence correctly with the capital letter ending with the full stop we are working on that okay now we may have a group of words that make sense but sometimes it does not make a complete sense now you look at it i'll write it here as i read just read for yourself and see what's happening here okay look at all this correctly at daybreak now as i told you a sentence is a group of words that makes sense but here you may have you have here also you have group of words at day break in the corner whatever at home you may have a group of words like this huh? it makes sense a little bit of sense but not a complete sense we are talking about a sentence that make a complete sense it's only a group of words that says something it does make sense when i say across the road it means something there when i say at day break during the day it doesn't make complete sense but we are talking about a sentence group of word that makes a complete sense with a capital letter and full stop now shall we turn this group of words that makes an incomplete sense to complete sense okay so we'll write down sentences so that you understand what i'm trying to tell you now let's take the first one at home okay now sam was at home when dad arrived when dad sam was at home when dad arrived we used at home the word at home by itself makes sense but we making a complete sentence who was at home sam was at home when dad arrived we ended that with a full stop we started with a with a capital letter and we used this group of word which does make sense into a complete sense by creating a complete sentence you understood now sam was at home when dad arrived what the next one we have there in a corner okay in a corner dad left the umbrella in a corner in a corner okay so we use the full stop cap letter in a corner it makes sense in a corner in that corner there's something there or nobody is there or somebody is standing or uh, somebody is, uh, you kept a pile of book anything here i said in a corner what is in a corner umbrella dad left the umbrella in a corner in a corner by itself makes sense but not a complete sense so you add few more words to begin the sentence with a cap letter end with the cap in the with the full stop okay what is the next group of words we have under the table okay under the table the cat sat the cat sat 
under the table. And we end with the full stop, we begin with the cap letter. Under the table makes sense, but not complete. So we say, the cat sat under the table, begins with the capital letter, ends with the full stop. What is the next group of words we have? Across the road. Across the road. The boy ran. The boy, cap letter, the boy ran across the road. Ran across the road. Full stop. We end with the full stop. Across the road makes sense. Across the road, yes. My house is across the road. Or the boy ran across the road. We begin the sentence with the full stop. We provided the boy ran. The boy ran across the road, ending with the full stop. So the group of word which did not make sense. Here we have made a complete sentence. The sentence is complete. The next we have at daybreak. Peter came home at daybreak. At Daybreak. At daybreak means very early in the morning. It makes sense at daybreak. But we have supplied few words to make complete sentence. Peter came home at daybreak. We end with the full stop. The next group of words we have here is during the day. During the day. Maria studies during the day. Or you can say, Mommy cooks during the day. Mommy cleans the house during the day. Now, during the day makes a part a sense, but not a complete sense. So we add on Maria. Maria studies during the day. Ending with the full stop. So, we have a group of words at home, in a corner, under the table, across the road, at daybreak, during the day. All these are groups of words that does not make complete sense. And we use it in the sentence for you to understand that although across the road does say something, so we change that into words, into correct sentences. Now, I need to talk about this. At home, at home, in a corner, across the road, at daybreak, during the day, all these incomplete words, group of words, we call them phrases. What are they called? We call them phrases. So these are groups of words that make sense and we call them phrases. Now what we have done, you and I, together, using the phrases and made complete sentences. Now you know how to change, turn the phrases into proper, complete sentences. Now we will do some more exercise for you to understand. Now. You also need to look at these at daybreak, Sam, I mean uh, during the day, in a corner, at home. If you look at these, it does not have a verb. What is verb? A word that does some action. When you say at daybreak, at daybreak, yeah, beginning of the day, what happened? Where is the verb? No verb. Now, in a phrase, there is no word. No one doing an action. The verb, a doing word is the important part of a sentence. Now, let's take the first one. At home, it has no verb. Now, so we have put in verb here. Sam was at home when dad arrived. Now, at home, 
it has no verb. Now look at, let's find out the verb. Sam was at home. Was. Who was at home? Was. Sam was. Sam is the, um, or to say, Sam is the most important person here. He's at home. Was. Verb. We supplied the verb was. He's there in the house. Okay. So now we are adding. Now let's say second. In a corner. In a corner. In a corner. Where is the verb? Dad left the umbrella. Left. Leaving. Keeping. Something is happening. So verb. Now under the table. Sat. Who sat under the table? Cat. Across the road. What is the boy doing? Ran. So we are supplying verbs. Ran. Sat. Left. Was. Now. At daybreak, came, who came? Peter. During the day, what does she do? Studies, Maria studies. Supply. To these phrases, we supply a verb. Doing word. Okay? So, group of words like these are called phrases. So, a sentence has, has to have a verb. But, a sentence has a verb. But the phrase doesn't have a verb. The phrase doesn't have a verb. A sentence has a verb. That's what we saw. Now these are group of words that does make sense but not a complete sense. The phrase doesn't have a verb. We have used the phrases here. What are the phrases? At home, in a corner, under the table, across the road, at daybreak. During the day, we have used those phrases which have no verb. We have supplied the verbs to make a complete sense. And that's what we have done. What have we done? Using the phrases in a complete sense. Phrase, remember, phrase doesn't have a verb. We have to supply a verb and make a sentence.